Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we are going to play Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Dawn of Ragnarok on Xbox Series S. So yeah, the new yeah, it's a some kind of standalone expansion. It's really big, by the way. It's um, just released for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and yeah, I, I just wanted to take a look at it. It's it's really good. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's go check it out. So, <laughs> the game is really big on your SSD. It's a total of 122 GB on your SSD. That's like a quarter of your uh, standard space. What? Even more. One third. Um, the game is not on Game Pass right now. I'm not sure if it will be in the future. You never know. Um, the, the, the Dawn of Ragnarok DLC or upgrade... I think it's like 30, 30, 39 euros. Yeah, 39.99 it is. But I think it's worth it because it feels like a completely full-blown Assassin's Creed game. The game is fully optimized for Gen Scarlet, Xbox Gen 9. So uh, yeah, let's go start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me. You're really helping out the channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a daily basis. New games, old games, updates on games, and a little bit of hardware here and there. So, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Ubisoft. In the Anvil Engine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> if you never have played this game, go out and get this game. It's a really good game. And it's actually really well optimized for the Series S. This is definitely a top 10 best looking games on the series s and yes the game runs at 60 fps on the series s even with a it, the game is so super 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 big but yeah it's uh it's pretty amazing what they did with this game so this is Dawn of Ragnarok. It's a completely new world. Fastly open, fastly great. And yeah, it just looks amazing. The game um, has two rendering modes. Uh, let's see, upgrade, yeah, we can do that later. So there's a quality mode and a frame rate mode. Yes. Okay, now we let's do that really quick. Then we at least have seen both modes. This one is at around 1200p with 30 FPS. So I will put in the, the correct uh, numbers uh, down below the video. <laughs> so you can see it um the performance mode is around yeah they say it's a dynamic 1080p 60 fps but from what i could gather it's more like yeah most of the time around 800p 60 fps And it can go as low as 720p, but it could can go as high as 1080p. So, yeah. Let's 
But loading takes a lot of time. So, yeah, the resolution is much higher right now. You can already see that pretty well. But then again, it's only at 30 FPS. And, yeah, to be honest, I would rather play this game at uh, 60 FPS. But, to be fair... This is not a bad 30 FPS. It's not a headache 30 FPS because those are real. It's really doable on 30 FPS. <coughs> but yeah, let's be honest. Yeah, it it I think it looks really well. The map is really big, by the way. This is the new map you get. And I think it's, yeah, pretty amazing. Let's go do some fast traveling to a different area. If you hear me uh, sniffer, sniff a little bit, I'm still a little bit cold. I love this. But yeah, let's get back to the 60 FPS mode. <coughs> and let's play a little bit of this game. Image calibration. But it's really well optimized. I have to give it to Ubisoft. They really know how to utilize the Series S. No. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So I'm curious, let me know in the comment section, what's your favorite Assassin's Creed? I think mine are the, the, the Ezio games. I really love the Ezio trilogy. But I'm really curious what yours is. Yeah, this is so much better. And let's be honest, if... Look at this, yeah, okay, there's there's a little bit less detail, but oh my goodness, what a big difference. I love it. So where should we go? Let's go this way. I personally think it looks really well on the Series S. One of the best looking open world games.
This place is heavily guarded. That's a big block of... Here we go. That's better. But yeah, I really love how this game plays and runs. And even if you only want to play the original first, ju just the standard version, go go buy this game on your Series S. It's it's a really good one, and the the standard version is not even that expensive. Perfect. If every game on the Series S would look like this, I'm okay. But yeah, you guys, this is Assassin's Creed Dawn of Ragnarok running on the Xbox Series S. And um, yeah, it, I think it's, it's really good looking. So go check it out. You guys, I really want to thank you for watching this episode of the Xbox Tester. Hope you liked it. At least I did. And hope to see you guys soon in another one. Thanks for watching.